We are now firmly into spring, and that brings loads of photographic opportunities, flowers, those beautiful sunsets, sunrise, all the colors, loads of stuff. Let's talk about it. It's Tutorial Tuesday. <laughs> Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday, where each and every week, each and every Tuesday, we bring you a brand new, fresh photography tutorial. And this week, we're talking about spring photography. We're firmly into spring now. There's loads of different flowers, sunrise, sunset looks beautiful now, color everywhere. It's beautiful. I love it. I love this time of year for taking photos. You know, it's similar, but obviously completely different. <laughs> to autumn. In the autumn, you've got those beautiful colors, but here we've got the greens, you know, we've got the colors in the flowers, the reds, the purples, the yellows, all kinds of awesome stuff. And the sunsets, whoo, they look so good now. There's something about spring sunsets and spring sunrises, just looks fantastic. Sure, you've got very bright sun in the middle of the day, but actually the sun's not too high up for too long. You've got good times in the afternoon and the morning when you can go get some great photos with a bit more of a directional sunlight, you know, sun a bit lower in the sky. Let's talk about some tips to capture some fantastic spring photos. Let's just dive straight in. So the first tip I wanna talk about is about picking the right time of day to take your photos. Now, there's no kind of right and wrong answer here. There's loads of different stuff that you can go for. Typically, sunrise and sunset are going to look fantastic and actually golden hour. So the whole hour before sunset looks great. You know, you can get some really fantastic photos taking advantage of that beautiful golden light. It's nice and soft, very flattering for flowers, for water, for all kinds of stuff. You know, heading out, around sunrise or in the earlier part of the morning, you can get that lovely mist as well, which looks fantastic. There's lots of great stuff to be had there, but that doesn't mean you can't go out and take photos in the day as well. You just have to be a little bit more thoughtful about how you're gonna handle the harsh sunlight. So obviously in the middle of the day and kind of through that middle part of the day, the sun is quite high in the sky. You're getting quite harsh shadows you know, a very contrasty image. Not always the most flattering look for your spring photos. But that's not to say you can't make it work. For example, it's a great time to go out into the forest or the woods where there's all this green life coming up, bluebells, wood anemones, all that kind of stuff, and take photos there. You're gonna get the sunlight dappling through the trees. Ooh, that looks good. That looks super, super nice. And the middle of the day is perfect for that because you're gonna have stronger sun coming through those trees. So you get a bit of sun rays. Like I say, you can play around with the light a little bit. That's a perfect time to do something like that. And then save the sunrise and the sunsets. Generally sunsets for me. I don't love, I don't love getting up early for sunrise. So generally sunsets, save that for your kind of spring portraits. You know, going out and do flowers kind of a little bit later in the afternoon, getting that beautiful golden light. There's loads of opportunities there. So pick the right time to shoot, depending on what kind of thing you want to go for. Forests, plant life, maybe the middle of the day. Portraits, water, getting those golden tones, whew, sunset. Speaking of which, let's talk about making the most of that color. Now spring brings with it loads of different colors. You know, flowers, plants of all kinds, the greens coming out in the trees, everything. And it's worth trying to make the most of that kind of that spring color. There's so much of it. It's so, so nice. So whether you're looking for flowers, whether you're looking to frame something with color, or whether you're looking to capture bluebells framed by trees and all that kind of stuff, you can find color everywhere. And this is the best time of year, I think, to really try and focus in on some of that color. Flowers are an easy one, but even just the water at sunset can look so fantastic. We talked about it last week with the water photography, but you can get some beautiful colors around sunset when you're photographing water with the reflections and all that kind of fun stuff. So this is a great time to really hone in on that color during the kind of springtime, you know, explosion of color all around you. And the third tip I want to talk about, we talked about this with the water as well, but it's just so important with all this stuff, is find a subject within your photo. Whether you're taking a photo in the woods of all the kind of bed of flowers, the, the wood enemies, the bluebells, all that kind of stuff, make sure you have a subject in your photo that the viewer's eye, when they're looking at the photo, can just rest on. It's a natural resting place for the photo. I talk about this a lot now because I really believe every photo should have a subject within it. That's not to say that the rest of the photo can't be filled with interesting stuff to look at and move around, but there needs to be something. There's a, there's a focal point of the image, which is where the eye naturally rests. So if it's wood shots, you know, with flowers and stuff like that, make sure you've got one defining subject within that photo. If you're out doing sunset, make sure you've got a subject. It could be the, could be the sunset itself. 
It could be the something in the sunset in the background. It could be a person. There's all kinds of stuff you could go for. You could take a photo of, of wildlife within the kind of spring-like environment. There's loads of stuff you can do to create a subject. Just make sure you've got something in there which acts as the focal point of the image, the anchor for the whole thing. And then you're gonna be absolutely, you know, just bringing your photo from kind of decent all the way up to just a fantastic image, worthy of hanging on the wall, lovely to look at, and it's not kind of messy or noisy or, or too unbalanced. You're gonna have a nice focal point for the viewer's eye. Those are three tips to capture some spring photography, of course. There's loads of stuff we could talk about there. There's loads of stuff. So I'd love to hear your tips down in the comments. Anything that you think we've not talked about, there's loads of stuff. So pop it all down there. I'd love to hear your tips as well, because I'd love to go out and take some more spring photos myself. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, and subscribe. There's a full list of all the kit we used as well down in the description so you can check that out for lenses and cameras and your bags even. Even the microphone I'm using right now which is just up here. So go check that out for yourself. Of course, I will see you in the next video and as always, thanks for watching.